Hey everyone, I'm Sylvana, and today I'm going to show you the value of partner stretches. I do these daily, and these are some of my favorites. So first, we're gonna start with a front kick stretch. This is gonna stretch your hamstring and your groin. Make sure you know how to throw a front kick before trying this stretch. Put your back against a wall or something sturdy, and then your partner's just gonna help you get up into the stretch. So always start at midsection and slowly raise yourself higher and higher, depending on the flexibility of the person. As you can see, Seabok is keeping a straight back and maintaining that. You do not want to end up hunching your back or doing something that's not keeping your back honest because you don't want a hurt back at the end of this stretch. If you could go even farther into this stretch, Make sure you're nice and sturdy and stable and your partner can take both hands and bring the leg up as far as you're able to go. Make sure that you're communicating with each other as you're going. So see what can stop here and just let, like ask me, hey, are you doing okay? And then I say, yeah, I could go higher. And then he does and we just keep going and I could even help as he's stretching me and as we're pushing this forward. Make sure you're nice and sturdy on the wall because you don't wanna be really focusing on your balance too much. You really wanna be hitting that hamstring when you're stretching. So full back against the wall, push this forward and back. If you need to, you can hold on to your partner, however they feel comfortable and however you need to maintain your balance. How are you feeling? Good. Can we go further? Yes. So just keep going Tell until you can anymore. Tell and then when you've hit your peak, stop, hold for 30 seconds and then come out of that slowly. Slowly come out. Try to breathe. Slow, slow, slow. We're gonna go back into a chamber position. Remember proper form always. Seawalk's gonna push my knee into my chest just to hit that chamber extra tight. And then we're gonna slowly put it down from there. After that, just shake the hips out do the other leg and get ready for the next one. What makes partner stretching so valuable is that it really helps you push past what you can do on your own. The next stretch we're going to do is a side kick stretch. This can also help your stretch for your roundhouse kick, your hook kick, or any kick that you throw off to the side. So all we're gonna do is make sure, again, we're gonna do very similar to the front kick stretch where you want your back on something that's very sturdy. And I also have a chair in front of me Remember, safety first, so make sure that you're reinforcing everything that you're leaning on, just in case. So from here, you're gonna go into your side kick, and your partner is just gonna hold it midsection first. Make sure that your proper side kick technique, proper pivot. Then, we're just gonna communicate, see if knows that I could go higher, so I'm gonna say, go higher, go higher. I could either help, or if I need to practice my balance a little bit, or I wanna take balance out a little bit, I'm gonna put both hands on what's in front of me and just lean my shoulder on the wall. Seabok fixed my front kick technique. And then from here, he's just raising and raising and raising until I would tell him, stop. Okay. So you just keep going. Go, 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 go. And stop. And then again, we're gonna hold this for around 30 seconds. And then again, we're gonna go slowly out of that. Slow, 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 slow. Raising my body back up. Keep breathing as this is happening. When you've hit your center, Seabox hand goes under my knee to help me chamber back in. We're gonna do proper side kick chamber. He's pushing my chamber into my chest, just like the front kick. And we're gonna go slowly down from there. Shake it off, do the other leg. Next up, we're gonna hit the quads. So again, utilize this wall. Turn around, raise your leg up, and your partner will just hold your leg in, in place. Okay, you could see that it's been hold from both sides. Okay, make sure you use two hands. And lift up, and pull down, and push up until they feel. Stop. Stop, it's good to stop right away. Relax, you breathe, 30 seconds again and you hold back just a little bit push and pull back again and now we're going to try our best stretch to go a little bit higher and slowly pull back again and down 
After you're done holding, make sure you do both sides. Last up, we're gonna be doing a groin stretch. The last one we're gonna be doing is a butterfly stretch. There are multiple ways of doing this, but this is the way I like it best. Bring your feet in and have your legs go out. If you're trying it on your own, hands are on your feet and you push down with your elbows. You could also do the variation where you push one leg down at a time. But again, I like doing partner stretches. So if Seawalk's gonna come help me, push my legs down. So all I need to do is reinforce my feet, keep them nice and tight, and Seawalk's gonna push down on my knee. Push, push, push. And for me, I could get my legs all the way down, which is awesome. From here, if you would like to work a little bit of strength, I also push up as Seawalk pushes down, and that's causing a little bit of resistance and some strength as well as stretching. Hold that for 30 seconds and then relax. Before the end of this video, I need to reinforce two important points. One is communication. Make sure you have an open dialogue with your partner because without it, you can very easily hurt each other. And two, make sure that you warm up and stretch prior to doing partner stretches. These are used to push you past your point. These are not used as a warm up. If you wanna see massive progress, add these to your current stretching routine. And finally, I'm going to do my Patreon shout out of the week. Thank you so much, Hans, for being on my Patreon page and making videos like these possible. I appreciate you more than you know. I'll see y'all next time. Bye, everyone. Of course, two important, important, important points. Two important parts. Of course, two important points.